Well, folks, as you know, I love one show on TV more than any show on TV. The View. Gary! I've had a lifelong ambition to actually be a guest on The View. They'll never have me on, of course, because it would go horribly for them. But today, we're going to go through some of the cringiest moments from The View, a repository of nearly all human stupidity. Total IQ, 7. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. If you kick every Latino out of this country, then who is going to be cleaning your toilet, Donald Trump? Oh, uh, no. In the sense that, in you a know sense. what I mean? Like, when I'm saying there's that more, there's more jobs to be In LA, they always... Mm -hmm. but they don't, uh, are not only the no, only people I didn't mean it like that. that. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I love that she... Uh, She's trying to make an anti-Trump argument. She's like, I can say anything I want. And she's like, I'm going to say something super racist. They're all like, oh, he's so mean. Yeah. Well, apparently her hair was not her only bad decision that day. The Holocaust isn't about race. No. It's well, not about maybe race. Maybe yeah, no, it's a city. No, it's a different it's race. But it's, it's not about race. It's not about well, race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. No! That's what it's about. But it's about white supremacy. It's well, about but it's not, it's Jews, not about and, and, ideal and race. It's and perfect. Perfect. But these are two Romans. white groups of people. Ah! Ah! Uh, not only is that the worst clip in the history of The View, that is the worst clip in the history of television. Like, all of television history. Whoopi Goldberg is obnoxious and stupid beyond all measure. The Holocaust was not about race. Ask the Nazis. The entire Holocaust was about race. All of it. Which is why they didn't just pick on Jews who observed Judaism. They picked on anyone who had quote-unquote Jewish blood. The entire thing was about race. You in danger, girl. But you notice, I mean... What she says there is not just stupid, by the way, it's despicable. When she says the Holocaust is basically just flatten it out, it's just about man's inhumanity to man. It's like just when, the, it's just like that time when you open your car door and you sort of bump the guy next to you and you leave a ding in his car, but you don't even know it on his windshield. Man's inhumanity to man. Nope. It is about a genocidal attempt to exterminate the Jews, which has a thousands of year old history. And yes, it was rooted in race. And yes, anti-Semitism is different. And yes, you are a complete stupid idiot. My God. She is so stupid. This is the same lady who thinks everything is racist. Everything and everyone is racist, except Hitler and the Holocaust. Genius Whoopi Goldberg. No way. Ah! Do any of you men have any eggs or the possibility of carrying a fetus? How dare you talk about what a fetus wants? You have no idea. I'm fine if you disagree with abortion. I have no problem with that. Yeah, you do. My problem comes when you tell me what I need to do with my doctor and my family. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Okay, so I have a few questions. on Many questions on this, as it turns out. First, transphobia. Massive transphobia. If you don't have eggs, you can't. Are you saying that some women can't be men and some men can't be women? Are you saying... And unless you have eggs, you're not a woman. Is that what you're saying, Whoopi Goldberg? Also, if that is the new standard, how about women who are postmenopausal? Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Can they have opinions on? I mean, you can't have a baby right now, I assume. How old is Whoopi Goldberg? She's in her 60s. Yeah, unless there's been some sort of miracle that has occurred. Some sort of biblical level miracle. Also, I noticed a th a another thing. I can have an opinion on what a fetus would think because I was once a fetus. In fact, spoiler alert. All of us. Every single one of us. I know this is crazy. And you know what I can pretty well guarantee? Fetuses don't like being stabbed in the face and sucked into a sink. So at the Miss Universe pageant on Sunday, the winner, uh, Sosi Bini Tunzi. I say that right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's her name. She, she Miss South Africa. She said, I grew up in a world where a woman who looks like me with my kind of skin and my kind of hair was never considered beautiful. So... Do her words resonate with you at all? Because you're a black person? That's that. Uh... So first, I mean, honestly, that, that quote is also rather 
silly. I mean, it looks like this happened maybe two years ago and this woman appears to be like 20. I love that Joy Behar is like, speak for the black people, black lady. Woo, there's so much racism among the white liberals at The View. It's really fun to watch. Well, ladies of The View, they're not very smart, but I'll tell you what is smart. ExpressVPN. They're our trusted privacy partner and a premier sponsor of this show. What if there was someone out there who kept a log of every single thing you did every minute of the day? That would be weird, right? What if I told you that's exactly what happens every time you go online? Well, your internet provider is tracking and logging every single website you've ever visited. They can legally sell that information to anyone. That's why I always use ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers. So your internet provider can't track your online activity. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, wait, if I'm routing all my data through a VPN, can't that VPN log my data instead? That does in fact happen, not with ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN, they're the VPN I trust because they use a trusted server technology. It makes it impossible for their VPN servers to store data. They even had one of the biggest assurance firms, PricewaterhouseCooper, audit their technology. So, you know, you can trust it. I've been using ExpressVPN for years. You should do the same. Stop letting people keep logs of what you do online. Instead, visit expressvpn.com slash benyt right now. Find out how you can get three extra months for free. That's expressvpn.com slash benyt, expressvpn.com slash benyt. She tweeted something comparing the U.S., Israel, Hamas, and the Taliban as all mm -hmm. terrorist organizations. And she has maybe way more knowledge and experience in the very complicated Middle Eastern relations. But I did find that being on a foreign committee and comparing the country to a terrorist, a known terror, those are organized terrorist communities that, not Israel, but Hamas and the Taliban. That it depends on who you talk to. Right. Well, I mean, those are, that's how they're recognized as, as, as terrorist and, organizations. But it does Americans. depend on, it, it, on who you yeah, talk to. Well, they're recognized does. in this country. Depends on who you talk to. Uh, Whoopi, always, always available to sign in. Cool it with the anti-Semitic remarks. To both compare Israel and the United States to terrorist organizations and also compare terrorist organizations to apparently not terrorist organizations. Like, Hamas is not a terrorist organization? Yeah! Oh, man. It, it is amazing because Whoopi is sort of seen on this show as sort of the, the wise old sage. And I have to say, norm you need better sages. You know, it's interesting that a, lo a lot of the English language has to be rethought. Blackmailing is negative. <clears throat> Black sheep, negative. Um, I can think of a few others if I had the, the time, but those words are right. kind of like embedded in our psyches and maybe need well, to be changed. Why is a black sheep well, we can't. a bad thing and a white sheep is a good thing? Why? They're just sheep. Well, it's not the words. <laughs> it, it's not the words. It's the way we think about it. I like that Megan McCain is like, I cannot believe I'm here right now. Megan McCain is like, what is happening? Yeah, you're right. You're right, Joy. Probably they started saying black sheep versus white sheep, not because of the commonality of the sheep, but because of black people in like rural Europe. N n nailed it. Yeah, it's about what? African-American sheep. That, that, this is so stupid. It's about, Af it's about black male, like black people male. <gasps> black male! Thank you, Cleveland. What in the... How many more of these are there? I don't think that kids right. in this country are learning our history. Um, they're not learning about slavery. They're not learning about Jim Crow. They don't understand the history of black Americans in this country. If they did, they would then understand white privilege better. Uh, so my mm -hmm. suggestion is start teaching this stuff. It's deplorable, again, that word, that they do not learn history, period. I mean, people who are young, under 50, yeah. don't know who FDR was. Huh? What is she talking about? We all learned in school about slavery and Jim Crow and FDR. Honestly, it's the people who are teaching DEI crap in public schools who, who actually don't care whether the kids know who FDR is. Those kids don't know the first thing about history, but they know that people are victimized. That's the only thing that matters. If you look at all the studies, the Republican Party has moved further to the right than Democrats have to the left. There's a Pew Research um, Center analysis that finds that on average, Democrats and Republicans are farther apart ideologically today than at any time in the past 50 years. And that ideological divide breaks down to the Republican Party being an extremist party. And this, the Democratic Party actually, as you just mentioned, Sarah, moving more to the center. What, is, what in the, what? what? That is, okay, I would, I would challenge you to go look at like the 1960 Democratic platform, the JFK platform, compare it to the Republican Party. It looks kind of identical. Now, compare the Democratic Party platform to the current Democratic Party in which they say that men can be women, women can be men. 
that we should open discussions about slavery reparations. Kiss my black ass, America! That it's not just enough for there to be same-sex marriage, but it needs to be enshrined in federal law such that religious institutions are overthrown. The Democratic Party has moved wildly to the left on every available issue. What are they... You have to be so ignorant to believe all this stuff, but that's the, that's the name of the show. I mean, this show is about the stupidity of a bunch of people sitting around and jabbering about things of which they know not. Alrighty, folks, that was us going through some of the worst moments of The View. I mean, honestly, I'm not sure what the best moments are of The View. Because uh, we don't want any more murderers. I think no, we, we should just go on to the next question. Oh. Who are the murderers? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Clinton, he murdered a guy. Yeah, you know, we're not allowed. Basically an endless desert of stupidity and ignorance. Well, we are all a little bit stupider now than we were, you know, 10 or 15 minutes ago. 